So most estimates say we have about one, huh? Okay, look. So most estimates say we have about 100 billion brain cells and 10 times that many. So 1 trillion. And the brain weighs about 3 pounds. And after the age of 20, you lose a gram of brain mass per year. Which disproves the claim that adults are smarter than teens. And how technically, teens are misunderstood as childish and sometimes even clueless. However, I'm not trying to outsmart you adults, but perhaps make you acknowledge from uh, make you acknowledge what you have been missing from us teens, like maybe the fact that we know a lot about technology. Since in our generation, everything is based on technology, from how we socialize online to how we interact with one another in real life. But one thing that you adults can benefit from us teens are apps. Since we all know apps as programs that we use to play, communicate, and learn. But they can be used for our everyday life and for reasons that we didn't know of before. Like Duolingo. Now Duolingo offers you the best way to learn a new language in up to three months. Giving you multiple different, multiple languages and different levels while having also different while also having different levels. And secondly, we have All Recipes Dinner Spinner. Now this app allows you to pick a nice recipe for your family when there's nothing left in the fridge. And it's so simple that all you have to do is, oh, hello, is pick an ingredient, then pick the recipe. And it's simple as that. But the apps can also be used for businesses, like even Spiegel, the founder of Snapchat, and he invented the app when he was with his friends in Stanford University, and it turned out great since he is now the youngest millionaire at only 21 years old. So with a teenager in the house, could you be getting yourself an advantage? Well, on the other hand, have you ever asked yourself if you are passionate? Since as the saying goes, as the older you get, the more you care about money and the less you care about normal things. However, this doesn't apply to all adults, but it is, but it is a very common. And one way that you can break this stereotype is by hanging out with your teenager. Since by hanging out with a teenager, you can become more kind, loving, and patient. Since we can be a handful and you can learn from our mistakes. And some activities that you can try are playing games. Because by playing games, you can get to interact with your family and you can interact with your teens, breaking the generation gap between you. And shopping. By shopping, you can get to know your teenager's personality and style. Also, again, breaking the generation gap. However, you, you mothers were once teenagers yourself and you all had hobbies you wanted to accomplish in life whether it was art or music or anything like that. But I'm just here now to tell you that you should never stop with your passion or anything like that. Let's take this artist for example. He loved art as a kid and he continued as an adult. And eventually he had his own gallery full of unique style. And he inspired the world. And some ways that children or teenagers have inspired the world are like Jarkit Josa. Now, Jarkit Josal is a seven-year-old surgeon, and he was born in 1993, and he is India's youngest physician and university graduate with an estimated IQ of 146. Uh, secondly, we have William James Sidious, the smartest man who ever lived. At only eight years old, William James Sidious proved his mathematic giftness by proving an algorithm for the number 12 and gave a lecture at Harvard University a year later. And finally, we have Michael Kennedy, the world's youngest university graduate. At only, eight, uh, at only 10 years old, he received his bachelor degree from the University of South Alabama. And at 17, he received his second graduate degree from Valbeach University. And he is noted in the Guinness Book of World Records to be the youngest, uh, to be the youngest graduate in the world. So from these examples, you should all understand that while teens will continue to learn from you adults, you adults should consider learning from us teens if you are able to look for, if you are able to look for new perspectives and can handle one more hour adjusting to what it feels like to be a teen again. Thank you.